Hello adventurists, welcome to Adventures with Paul. Today we are broadcasting from the remote location of my backyard because I'm getting ready to ride the Empire Trail. Uh, this time my wife and I are going together and we're doing an in-to-in -in ride. So I'm going to cover my bike packing kit uh, for an in-to-in -in tour, show you what I carry. Uh, so let's get into it. The chariot I'm taking on this tour is my specialized Diverge. Uh, this gravel bike is pretty killer. Um, I've been really enjoying it. Uh, one of the things that it's set up for in terms of comfort, I've got 700 by 42 tires, so they really soak up the road noise. Uh, the other thing that helps is this um, Future Shock 2.0, which you can see it kind of compress in there. So as you hit bumps, that's going to soak up some of the, the bumps as well. The Roval Terra seat post here, it might be tough to see, but this actually flexes back and gives you a bit more comfort. And again, I'm breaking in another Brooks saddle uh, on another bike, so that's awesome. Uh, I just switched to uh, 11 to 40 cassette in the back uh, and got a new chain on there and just waxed it up, so I'm enjoying that. I carry two water bottles and then another liter of water inside the panniers uh, just to make sure that I have enough water. With this particular tour, there's probably enough convenience stores to stop in and get water and pass them by park sites, but having uh, the two water bottles up front and a liter in the back gives me at least about four hours worth of water. And up front, though I probably won't need to use it, but I've got my bear spray for bears, geese, dog. For this trip, I'm going with Team Panniers. Uh, I've got my tail fin rack on the back. You can see it doesn't have that top section uh, which the newer tail fin racks have. This was an early production model, the first run that they made. I sponsored them on Kickstarter and this was one of the uh, selections that they handed out. But this one just pulls back the panniers come right off and voila, uh, I can just take the pannier with me uh, to my hotel room since this is just an in the in tour. So that's uh, pretty convenient uh, for just a quick tour. Cockpit wise, I've got a dedicated head unit GPS. It's a IGP Sport BSC300. Uh, this is a great little unit. I can download the route on this and then this just goes all day long. I can follow it, which is awesome. It battery lasts about three days of 60 to 70 miles. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, and then I've got a profile aero bar, which I normally hang my tent off of with voil straps. But this trip, it's really just going to be for alternate hand positions. And that's the bike. Let's look at what I'm carrying with me. Uh, for the 11 days or so that we're going to be on the trip. Unlike Imelda Marcos, I'm only bringing one pair of shoes for the entire trip. So these are on bike and off bike. It just makes things a lot easier just to carry one pair of shoes. These are super grippy soles that go right on my platform pedals. And it honestly feels very similar to clip-ins. Headgear, I've got a cycling cap. I generally wear one of these under the helmet. I got a specialized helmet here and I've got some Oakley sunshades which keeps the uh, sun out of the eyes so I can kind of actually see where I'm going. I bring one pair of cycling gloves. Every night I'll wash these out along with the cycling cap and my shirts. I'll do like shower laundry because that keeps things nice and fresh for the next day and with an in-to-in -in tour uh, it's just easier just to carry one pair and let them dry overnight. Cycling, I'll carry these sun sleeves. Uh, these just keep my arm a little bit cooler and keeps the sun off of my head. I've got my, you've probably seen this in other videos, just a t-shirt. I like patterns. <laughs> I like fun stuff. So I really like this nice lightweight t-shirt. Again, that's washed every single night. Cycling shorts. These are just mountain bike shorts. I like it because I've got pockets. I can put my iPhone and my wallet in here and that just keeps it right where I can reach it. And then I carry two sets of cycling liners underneath it that get washed and rotated out every single day. So I have one fresh pair and then one pair that's basically drying on the back of my bike. And did I mention socks? We got them. 
Smart wool socks. I like these quarter length smart wool socks. I even have them on now. You can kind of see. Um, these things just provide enough warmth, breathability. Uh, wash them out. Again, every single night, I'll carry two pairs with me because one dries while the, I'm wearing the other one. As it gets chilly, I've got one fleece jacket that I can put on over top of my gear. This is a Patagonia R style fleece. It's got this waffle pattern, which is pretty cool. This allows a lot of the air to circulate underneath it while still providing warmth. What it doesn't do very well is stop the wind from coming in. So the wind will go through this as you're riding, which is why I wear a Gore-Tex Gore-Wear a jacket. I've had this thing for 20 some years easily and it's designed for cycling. So it's very short in the front. You can see this thing out. It looks pretty dorky, right? It's got this real long tail. I uh, feel like it's kind of like somewhat tuxedo, but I'll tell you what, this thing really keeps the wind from just sapping away all the strength. That combined with the windbreaker and the shirt, I'm warm into mid 40s easily. For serious rain, I'm wearing this monstrosity. This is a Showers Pass. It's kind of their top of the line jacket. Um, it's got a detachable hood. If I put the hood on, um, it does two things. It keeps me dry on the head and I look like Emperor Palpatine. Uh, if it's really raining hard, I've got rain pants. Last time I used these was when I was riding on the CNO and Hurricane Ophelia blew through. And I'll also wear these waterproof uh, warm gloves. But that's if it's really going to be super cold, uh, super rainy, and I need to make sure that I don't go hypothermic. Now, if temperatures get a little bit lower. I've got some defense for that. I have a nice beanie, some fleece around the ears, so that's going to keep my head warm. The other thing is I've got some gloves that have got a wind shell on them. They're super bright and they've got an insulating layer right here. So either I can use them just with the insulating fingers or I can put this little pocket over which keeps the uh, the hands warm. Uh, these were originally runner's gloves. Uh, I think they're Saucony and I got them years ago and they work super well. So really happy with those. Once the ride's over, I got my off bike wear. These are things that are just light. I only wear them a couple hours every day. I'll maybe wash them in the middle of the trip, but I'm only wearing them once I'm off the bike and I'm not sweating. So they can go a lot longer between washes. So I've got my really nice, really loud, really obnoxious shirt. This is a Columbia. It's one of their PFG shirts and it dries super quickly. It's a sun shield, a sunshade shirt. I've got a little fleece, the warmth layers if I'm walking around at night. And especially since we're gonna be in a New York state and temperatures are gonna be about mid fifties at night, this will probably go over that, which would be really nice. T-shirt, this is just a cotton performance organic layer T-shirt. Uh, nothing special. I think it's a, it's a Prana. I don't know, I'm not a name brand person, um, but over the years I've just collected these things and I just use them. They last a long time, so why am I throwing things away? My attitude is buy once, you own it forever. Shorts here, which are just Columbia. These are zip-off shorts. And then I have the pants here. I figure I just hold the shorts. If the temperatures are starting to get a little bit too cold, I'll zip on the pants and I'll walk around with them. And here I've got ex officio underwear. These are anti-microbial, non-smelling underwear. I'll take two of those with me and I'll rotate them. And if you thought, I can't believe this guy's actually showing his underwear on YouTube, that makes two of us. And finally, to top off my outfit, because my head's at the top of my body, is I'll wear a ball cap primarily because the bill keeps the sun out of my eyes and I really like that. And I love hats with conjunctions on them. I was never able to find a hat that had an and on it. So, chapter three, personal hygiene. I've got this small little kit for toiletries. I carry a brush, a body glide cycle, uh, this is equivalent to a chamois cream to keep everything moving freely to prevent saddle sores. Antiperspirant, when I finish the day, this is dry idea, strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. Um, but guys like the scent, so a floss, because if you don't use it, the dentist is only gonna make you feel guilty at your six month checkup. 
a razor to keep myself clean shaven because women go crazy about a sharp dressed man, a toothpaste, toothbrush, and that's about it. I've got an electronics kit with cables. I have a USB hub to charge everything, a 20,000 milliamp per hour battery pack in here, and a whole bunch of cables, lightning cables for the phones, the little pucks in here, the Apple Watch, USB-C for the GoPro, and I also have this little um, battery charger for the GoPro batteries. Uh, I've got this small little backpack. This is a Cetus Summit Sil Nylon thing. It rolls all up and packs into this tiny little uh, pack here. What I use this for is to pack all of my off bike clothes in. So they're separated from my on bike clothes. At the end of the day, they don't uh, acquire any smells from on bike clothes. They don't get mixed in with anything else. And when I'm getting on the train, I can keep everything on the bike uh, and then just put whatever I want to bring with me right in this little backpack. And then I've got that all together with me on the train and I don't have to worry about carrying two panniers. It's just in my backpack, lift the bike on, I've got everything I need. And of course, I'm carrying my iPhone. This is an 11 Pro. Uh, it's still running strong, so why get rid of it at this particular point? I've got the GoPro on the selfie stick. I've got my AirPods, which I actually won at a conference because I answered a trivia question about James Bond 007. <laughs> I got a story for so many things. And then the glasses that I have on because at the end of the day, it just makes things at my age a lot easier to see on an iPhone and an iPad. Lastly, so that leaving my bike outside doesn't weigh heavily on my mind, I carry a lock. So this may have some weight and may weigh on my travels, but it gives me peace of mind. Now, technically I'm riding with somebody else, so we could always have somebody stand outside and watch the bikes while the other person goes inside. But if we both go into a restaurant together, both go into a convenience store together, having the bikes locked outside prevents that theft of opportunity. So as you know, I'm shooting these videos and I'm posting them on YouTube. One, because I enjoy interacting with you guys. And two, it's something for me to go back and look at and say, wow, what a cool trip that was. Definitely, if you like this kind of stuff, like and subscribe if you want to. And um, interact with me in the comments. Love hearing from all you guys.